Do we need a different set of life skills to succeed and flourish in the 21st century? Let's start by looking at how life skills needed for success have changed over time by looking at how the desired learning outcomes have evolved. In the agrarian age, desired educational outcomes were the three R's, reading, writing and arithmetic. Children usually learned employability skills by apprenticing with their parents and later followed the trade their parents were in. The role of the limited formal education that was available was to teach the three R's. The industrial revolution changed the complexion of the economy and to get employment in factories, one needed some technical skills besides the three R's and basic cognitive skills. As services sector became the major employer and economy became more knowledge oriented, knowledge in a particular domain like medicine, engineering or accountancy became imperative. A university degree meant that one acquired sufficient knowledge in a domain and usually secured lifelong employment. However, a stockpile of knowledge is increasingly not ensuring lifelong employability. We are in the midst of a tremendous change and it is very difficult for us to predict what the future economic scenario will look like. To understand our current situation, imagine a small child who is observing water being heated for the first time. The child sees the water temperature rising, 15 degrees Celsius, 20 degrees, 25 degrees, 55 degrees. If you ask this child, a first time observer, to predict what will happen to water as it is heated further, the child will likely predict that the water will become hotter and hotter. A first time observer cannot predict that water will turn into steam at 100 degrees Celsius. Water turning into steam is called phase change because the very nature of matter has changed from liquid to gas. When we are in the midst of a phase change, it is very difficult for us to predict what the future will hold. From 99 degrees Celsius to 1 degree, we cannot anticipate that water will turn into ice. Likewise, from 1 degree to 99 degrees Celsius, we cannot anticipate that water will turn into steam. Like phase change in states of matter, there have been phase changes in human society. Social changes that have significantly changed our lives. Advent of language was one such social change. It allowed for abstract ideas to be communicated efficiently. Advent of writing allowed more accurate codification of human knowledge. Advent of printing press made faster dissemination of ideas across space and time possible and led to better preservation of human knowledge. We are now in the midst of another such social phase change. Its constituent elements are automation, computers, internet, hyperconnectivity, knowledge explosion and fast rate of change. Knowledge and ideas can now be disseminated and shared instantaneously and it is becoming simpler to store vast amount of information more and more economically. Automation implies jobs requiring basic skills are done cheaper and faster by machines. Think of robotic assembly lines in factories that have replaced humans or automated teller machines, ATMs instead of bank tellers. Routine rule based jobs that can be reduced to an algorithm are now being done more efficiently and economically by computers than by humans. Think of jobs related with data analysis. We are in the midst of a social phase change and like a first time observer, we don't know what the future holds. Richard Riley, Secretary of Education under President Bill Clinton, rightly observed, we are currently preparing students for jobs that don't yet exist using technologies that haven't yet been invented in order to solve problems we don't even know our problems yet. What are some major implications of this social phase change for living in the 21st century? Author Tom Friedman sums it well. Need a job? Invent one. The social phase change is not changing just the economic complexion of our society. Human well-being is still a big challenge. As psychologist Viktor Frankl noted, we have the means but no meaning. Problems we face today are not complicated. They are complex. A jigsaw puzzle is a complicated problem. 
It is difficult to solve, but it has a unique solution. Chess is complex. It's not only difficult to solve, the solution depends on multiple variables. From career choices to climate change, the problems we face today are complex. Gaining knowledge is necessary, but no longer sufficient for success. Question is, what skills, competencies and dispositions will be needed to flourish in the 21st century? Life skills that will lead to success and well-being in the context of the ongoing social phase change. When knowledge is exploding, self-directed learning becomes an essential life skill. It involves self-motivation, resilience and grit to face successes and failures in learning, making the most of all the online learning resources now available and ability to learn, unlearn and relearn all lifelong. Ability to think deeply, independently and creatively for innovative problem solving and judicious decision making is another timeless life skill. Active listening, multisensory communication, narrative and persuasive skills and becoming a great storyteller will be skills essential for flourishing. Lone geniuses cannot solve the complicated problems we face today. Teamwork, empathy and ability to thrive in diversity will become imperative. Financial literacy that involves understanding the fundamental building blocks like delayed gratification, self-control, risk reward equation and doing philanthropy that maximizes social impact is another timeless life skill. And finally, learning to be or the journey within is the most critical timeless life skill. It includes self-awareness, long-term well-being and pursuit of goals that go beyond self-interest and help in finding meaning and purpose.